What is up, everybody? I am doing a different kind of video today. I know you guys love looking at my face, but I'm not going to do that today. Because I'm really excited about this Bible I just got. So I think I'm going to show it off. And Zondervan, if you're watching, you can... Um, Send me one of the Thompson chain reference Bibles when you guys start printing those. Uh, and I will show that one off to my 42 subscribers that I love. I love you guys. Kind of. I mean, I really love, but I like you guys. You're cool. So, I have been in the market for a large print Bible because... I'm an old man and my eyes are getting weak and it's slight strain for me to read um, the Bible a little bit. Not a big deal, but I just wanted to be a little bit more comfortable. I usually read this one. This is a Zondervan really nice um, wide margin Bible that I got last year around January. This is a New American Standard. It's a it's, uh, wide margin the font size is ten and a half, so it's really readable and really nice. The paper is really nice. It's I think uh, about thirty-eight um, GSM. If you guys know anything about Bibles, the uh, the bigger the number, the thicker the paper is, and uh, easier it is to write on. But it also makes the Bible thicker and fatter. Um, and GSM, I don't know what. It, it exactly stands for, but I'm pretty sure it means grams per square meter, but who really knows? Anyway, so I use this one a lot because it's got the wide margins. It has the references, which I use a lot. It has a concordance. It has book introductions, which are really nice. And uh, some paper at the back to write in just a little bit, a lot. And um, some other cool things. Um, let me get to them real quick. Miracles, parables of Jesus, perspectives from the Bible, um, prayers of the Bible, promises of the Bible. All the P words. Okay. But anyway, I like this Bible a lot. The print is nice. It's not large. Um, it's it's readable, uh, but I just wanted something a little bigger, and also I just like to buy Bibles because I'm obsessed. So I got this one. Now there are a few uh, large print Bibles on the market, um, but Zondervan has kind of been on a, a Bible publishing kick in the last year. NASB especially they printed this one. They did the uh, wide margin that I just showed you, and they did a one they called Preacher Bible, which is um, nice goat skin like the wide margin that I just had, but it's a double column. But the pagination on that one is the same as a pew Bible that they also have. So that Preacher Bible is nice if you're a preacher and you want to say, turn to this page to all your people. And so that's what they did. So Zondervan has been printing a lot of uh, Bibles in the past year with the NASB. Usually they do NIV, and I have a few of those. Also recently, they just bought Kirkbride, which prints the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. Now, Kirkbride has been pretty steady for a long time as a publisher of the Thompson Chain Reference Bible, which is a really neat Bible um, created by this guy. It has references to scripture, and it tells you where to go to the next scripture to find the same topic. It's basically a topical Bible. And then it has a summary of the main verses in that topic at the end. Um, so it's a pretty solid study Bible. It doesn't have a lot of commentary, um, which, which is nice, um, depending on your perspective. But they don't print Bibles that much. They they're, they're print the... KJV and they print the NIV because those are the most popular but they haven't printed the NASB in a long time and so the NASB Thompson chain is going for like hundreds of dollars on eBay 
I got this one from my mom back in 1995. And she doesn't use it anymore. She uses a woman's devotional Bible. So I said, well, just send it back to me because I want it. She said, all right. So she sent it back to me and it had all these tabs, which I can't stand. So I cut them all off. But anyway, Zonervan, with all their money, is going to be... They bought Kirk Brighton. So I'm assuming they will start printing some nice uh, Thompson chains. Maybe they'll update the fonts. I hope they don't change it too much, but they'll at least hopefully they'll, they'll at least print some NASBs and this Kirkbite has always printed the 1977 NASB in their Thompson chain Bibles so who knows what Zondran will do but hopefully they won't change it too much so anyway back to this Bible so I needed a large print and Zondran has a large print which is ten and a half point which is the same as the wide margin that I have, so I didn't want that one because it's the same. They also have a super giant print, which is 16 point, which is kind of enormous. I didn't really need that. So I got this one, which is a 12 point. It's kind of in the middle between the large print, quote, large print, um, and the giant, super giant print, which is 16 point. Usually, if if you're in the book, Mrs. Large Print is 14 point, but a 14 point Bible is going to be huge. So this one is 12 point, and it's nice and thin. As you can see, this is according to their less than an inch thick. It's got two ribbons, which is cool. Most Bibles, at least traditionally, have had one ribbon. According to them, it's Smithsonian. Now I I kind of can tell if you look here at the at the uh, whatever this is called these are signatures that are sewn together and it's got this thing and I am totally at a loss for what that thing is called but it's it's a Bible thing but like I said I like this Bible I bought the leather sock because it's cost the same as a bonded leather and bonded leather when it starts to fall apart it gets really ugly and so I don't really like bonded leather. They don't have a goat skin or a genuine leather or calf skin. Um, but that I didn't want to spend that much money anyway. This was 30 bucks. So I got it. And it's nice. It doesn't have book introductions. It doesn't have references. It doesn't have a concordance. But I didn't really care. I just wanted this for reading. It does have all the all the P stuff in the back. Promises, perspectives, prayers parables um, red letter there you go red letter and 12 point really good deal you can you can see there's a little bit of bleed through which you know it's 30 bucks so not a big deal but it's it's nice it's it's easy to read and it's it's nice um, pretty solid put together if I ever have a spare $200, I might get this rebound, or I might just buy another Quintel. Those things are really nice, slightly smaller print, and there's like no bleed through. You can buy a Quintel from evangelicalbible.com, goatskin, with a concordance and references, 11 point. Both, I think, will last you a long time. I like the, the Quintel, but my son just took mine because he liked it. And I have a dozen Bibles laying around, so he, he can have that one. That's fine. Maybe uh, maybe I'll buy him his own and get that one back from him. But So I recommend this Zondervan Bible. And also I'm really looking forward to the Legacy Standard Bible coming out. The New Testament in March. I'll show you guys that one when it comes out. And the uh, the whole Bible should be available this year. Um, I'll hopefully they'll have a wide margin. Um, but this one, NASB, Thinline Bible, Giant Print, Zondervan. Good deal. They have a giant print in this, I think it's a teal colored cover, but... 
They didn't have one at Amazon, so I got this one. Um, there's also the super giant print. Like I said, 16 point. I'm, I'm sure it's fatter than this one, but I like this one. So um, I think you guys like it. Have a good morning.